So, um, I actually got uh, contacted by this uh, company here, uh, Moyu, uh, Moyu Store, and um, they actually reached out to me to see if I was interested in building one of their models. Um, this isn't a sponsorship as much as they wanted me to just kind of uh, build one. And, um, you know, so they just kind of say, hey, do you want to build this model or do you want to check it out? And so uh, they sent me this model here, which is actually really cool. Um, so I'm actually going to take a look. I've never built their models before. And you can check them out um, on their website, too. Um, and I think this one that I'm about to build is a steampunk ant. And you can find it on their web, web uh, site under the steampunk uh, models category. Um, and so you can go to their web store in uh, moyustore.com and that's M-O-Y-U store.com and um, just to clarify again this is not a sponsored video uh, they kind of just sent me a model to just kind of just build um, I just decided that I was going to record it because this is very different from everything else I've done um, so I'm actually really excited to check it out so I'm actually going to start looking at what's in this here and I'm going to switch my camera view so it looks like these two were the antlers and what's really interesting is um, these look like a bunch of bolts and nuts and stuff like that um, these might look I think these might be custom made maybe um, but most of these are just mechanical parts they're mostly like M2 screws um, what is this M2 say uh, 2 by 6 yeah so 2 millimeter by 6 millimeters so they're mostly bolts and nuts and stuff like that so it's really cool that you can make this kind of steampunk and it looks like they give you the tools to build it so it looks like it's a hex um, yeah it's like a hex tool and uh, yeah I'm actually interested where this uh, comes into play um, but for the most part it looks very diagrammatical with not a lot of written description um, which is great because I see some Chinese characters but other than that, um, it's mostly just the part numbers and the order of uh, sequence of order that you're supposed to put in together. Um, I may need to use Google Translate on this part here uh, because it looks like it's kind of telling you a couple steps. But I think for the most part, I can figure it out. I think it's just saying which order of operation to do it, um, and probably that the opposite side um, is the same. It looks really cool actually. Um, I'm actually really excited to build this. So we're gonna see how this comes out. So let's actually start opening up this box here. And I'm really curious to see what's in here. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. So these are just the connection parts, but look at this. These are really cool, actually. Um, let me turn it around because somehow it's flipped with the box. So you have your parts here. So this is part A, B, C, and D. Uh, this is just the back, back plate, okay. Um, this is actually really cool. So these look, I think these are custom made parts while these are just uh, very standard mechanical parts or screws um, so it, I think it's really creative how they did this and uh, I'm actually really just really excited to build it so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and uh, start working on it so for the first step which is the middle body these are all the parts that you need uh, so it's about one two three four five six seven eight nine parts and these three parts came from that sheet and it was in sheet A and looking through this manual, this is, okay, so this is a little bit confusing, but they want you to do this twice. And the only way you can see it is by looking at this manual here, where you see this one part, but they're highlighting it saying and just circling. So it, this is their way of saying, hey, whatever you did here, make sure you duplicate onto the other side. So actually I need double these parts here, um, not this part here. Um, but everything else I need to have double of um, So I'm actually gonna pull out those parts again Okay, 
So I have all the parts here now, so I'm gonna start building this first part. So a little note about step three, um, if you see here, it says M2 by 5 by 0.5, but in reality that is a typo and they actually corrected this for this part here manually, but they forgot to update this one, but it's the same. There's no 0.5, there's only a 0.3. So just in case you're following along with this video, I do want to uh, make sure, just because I don't know if you're going to get the same manual, would it already um, manually corrected but just in case that's what that is so don't try to use it the one that has a 0.5 at the end which is actually an m3 by 7 by 0.5 which won't fit so you want to make sure to use the m2 by 5 by 0.3 So what I'm doing right now is if I tighten this too much, what happens is there's not enough room on top um, to allow for the last piece. And so I'm actually going to be kind of putting it more towards the middle and then tightening it afterwards um, and, hope, and just hope for the best.
before I start the next part, which is the antlers, I did want to point out that the manual is incorrect here. This one shows um, for these kind of bigger uh, kind of cylinder tubes. It shows 2.8 by 0.3 by 2, but that is used earlier. So this is actually the wrong call out. And when I looked through the whole manual and looked at it through the other pieces, I deduced that this is actually uh, supposed to be five by point eight by two and that applies to this also so these two are actually incorrect in the manual We're supposed to make four of these leaks total. It's not very clear, but when you look at here, it says, you know, do the left leg by uh, two and then the right leg by two. And then we're gonna have to make another set with different parts for the last uh, legs. So, one little thing is that 
what I realized is they didn't give them the right parts or enough parts. Um, so the M two by fours, I need four of them, and um, as you can see, I used up the whole bag, and there were no spare parts or anything. So it's actually missing four M um, M two by fours. Um, they did provide extra M two by sixes, but there's only three of them too, and it's a little bit long. So what I actually <clears throat> am going to do is I do have spare parts that I'm going to try to find, but I don't have it right now. So I'm just going to finish this up and when I find the M2x4 screws that I have, um, I'm going to install it onto this part. Luckily it does, it's not actually needed, but it does look nicer with it. So um, I'll just do that afterwards. So the two long ones are going to go in the back and then the other four are going to go in the front and I'm making sure that I'm having the, um, the screw head on the same side. So I actually build it so that it's always going to be facing the front. Um, but if you haven't done that and you don't care then it doesn't matter um, which orientation you're putting it in as long as you put the right, the two in the back, uh, the long ones in the back and then the short ones in the, mid in the front and the middle. So here it is, this is the final model of the ant. Um, it looks really cool, let me actually get rid of the overhead camera. It, it turned out really well, um, I'm actually really surprised by the quality of the parts. I mean a lot of them are like typical mechanical screws and stuff like that, but I, I think just like how all the, the parts fit really well, um, you know. And I, the, the custom parts that they created are really nice. Um, it, it looks really, really cool at the end of the day. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, this is my first one of these uh, kind of steampunk kind of models. And I'm actually really glad I did it. Um, I'm, 
I might need to tighten a couple more screws because some of the areas do seem a little loose that I feel like over time it's just gonna um, kind of just start sinking because it, it can't hold up its weight. So I will tighten up some of the screws but I'll do that later. Um, I'm gonna switch over to a overhead view just so you, so you can see what it looks like on top. And these antlers are like really tall right here or really long. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope this video was very um, informative of what these type of models are. I've seen them online before and I was kind of, not skeptical, but I was kind of curious like how this all comes together. But um, it is really cool. It looks really technical, but since there are a lot of just like cuss or typical parts that you find, uh, like the M2 screws and stuff like that, um, I would actually say it's a lot easier than the final product looks. Um, it's just a little bit tricky to probably get some of the um, the screws in at an angle, especially if you have like stubby fingers like I do. But even then, I was able to do it with just very simple tools. Um, so I don't think you'll have too much of a problem working on it. And it's not a low quality model, as you can see here. It, it's very high quality. So I, I think if you do purchase this model set, um, you'd be really happy with the way it turns out. And if you enjoyed watching this uh, video, please hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos of uh, model building or other things. Um, I'm sometimes I'm trying to get back into some cooking stuff and some other hobbies that I like doing. So um, I'm going to try to see if I can add in more content uh, of variety, but um, you know, or I'm, I'm going to try to do some of these off models too once in a while um, so that uh, it's not just the PLA models or the Metal Earth models uh, and I'm going to try to see if I can get some more variety in model making. Um, so with that, thank you for watching and I uh, hope to see you guys next time.